Good folks. We've got the Crystal here. Crystal. The Crystal Cranksters. She's not. She's not the Cranksters today. Not she's today. The Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> she's very rarely yeah. the Cranksters. We just call her the Cranksters. Yeah. It's fun to say. <laughs> We are going to be doing some ombre with Ugly Duckling Color Gels today. Yay! Let me just put these in view. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Those are so pretty. I know. Natasha, I love I'm, the colors. I'm calling these... Uh, how did I put... You had a name? Fall, fall ombre. Fall, fall ombre. Fall ombre. There it is. Fall ombre. Fall ombre. <laughs> you know what? Let's run with that. That's good. Just these colors. I'm obsessed. We were talking just before we came live and how much we're both really loving green right now. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do just a... We're not going to do all these colors today, but uh, I'll let you know what colors I use when I um, post later. Um, but these are all our color gels that we used to do ombre here. And I'm going to show you how I like to create ombre. Um, using our ombre brush, we're going to use our painter brush, and then I'm using um, two colors from our color gel collection today. I'm using number 24, which is this nice olive green, and then I'm going to be using number 25, which is this kind of um, sage green, I guess. Not really a mint because it's not. Yeah, it's totally It's like sage, a sage. Hey? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I've actually put these two colors on my uh, crystal palette already. And what I've done is I've, this is number uh, 20, sorry, this is number 25 here, the sage green. Move my gloves so you can see. This is number 24, the kind of olivey green. And then I've actually mixed a mid-tone um, shade uh, in between the two colors. So just kind of equal parts of both. Um, and this is going to help us create that smooth transition um, from dark to light. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They look beautiful. And I must say, who's excited for fall? Oh, like, me. Like, <laughs> me. I'm so excited for, you know, the sweaters and oh. the toques and just feeling nice and cozy. Just every, I just love fall. And these nails remind me of that. So I just wanted to say, hey, everyone for joining. I just uh, logged on and I can see everyone's comments. So hello, hello. Thanks for popping in today. So we're gonna get started here. I'm going to, um, you can apply it with your gel brush uh, or you, uh, a different brush if you choose to. I'm gonna use our painter brush today and I'm going to apply um, number 25 on one side of the nail and then number 24 on the other side of the nail. And I'm going to apply just a thin line of the transitional color that I mixed with those two shades right down the center. And that's gonna help create a smoother blend. Um, you don't have to do that step, but personally I find it, it helps um, make that um, ombre a little bit easier, for me at least. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more. Now, Ombre can be a little bit finicky, and I'll be the first to admit, I, if anybody asks for ombre, I always like doing it vertically, like this, horizontal, so if you did your colors this way, rather than this way, this way, I personally find very difficult. Sideways? Yeah. yeah that's no just me, but, so I always go for a vertical ombre. These colors, you guys, I'm sure those of you that have joined us before, but these colors are like a dream to apply. They're so buttery and so pigmented, and a little really does go a long way. Which makes it amazing for artists with doing different art techniques. 100%. Hand painting. Yep. Hand painting designs, because then you're not having to add a bunch of layers to, oops, to get that color payoff. Um, and also, the viscosity of this gel, if you haven't used it, it literally stays where you put it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to run away on you. It's not going to um, self-level to the point where you have to go back and clean things up or anything like that. It's just a dream to work with. Don't mind that little fluff. It was stuck in my brush, I think. Okay, so I'm just, I've also got some um, tacky top on my um, palette here, and I like to use that just to work out any of the remaining product before I go into my next color. Um, even though we're doing an ombre, I want this side to be like solid number 25 and then this side to be solid number 24 and then create that transition in the center. Um, sorry, Natasha, do you yeah. mind just putting the palette more to the right and your nail to the right as well? Perfect. Yeah, Is that good? that's better. Okay. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm picking up number 24, this gorgeous olivey color. I may need to grab a bit more, but... 
We're just gonna apply that. We're gonna work it over to near the center of the nail. So one thing to remember, if you've ever taken a class with Christina and I, art class or anything, always, always, always try and remind people that dark colors will very easily overtake your design. So when using darker shades and incorporating them with any design you're doing, a little goes a long way. It's easier to add than it is to try and um, remove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to um, leave most of it kind of like uh, less than a third of the nail. I'm not good with fractions, so that's a Tasha fraction. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll admit it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of this. A little, a little exactly. <laughs> Super technical terms. That's okay. Okay, so um, happy with that. So now you can see we've got kind of this strip of nothing in the middle, and that's where we're going to put that transition color. So I'm going to pick up a bit of that color. We're gonna pop it right down the middle. And having this crystal palette makes it so mm. easy for you to clean your brush, yep. wipe off excess product, and easy to work with. It's such a multi-use tool. Yes. Plus, it, ooh, plus it's pretty, so that always helps. <laughs> okay, so as I'm laying this color down too, I'm gonna wipe off, like Christina so Christical said, I'm gonna, <laughs> caught myself there, yeah. a quick wipe off, wipe off the excess product off my painter brush, and I can even just do one or two passes where the center color meets number 24 and number 25, and that'll help start the blend. But then I'm going to bring in our um, ombre brush. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Our great ombre brush. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to go to my palette here. I'm gonna put a little bit of number 25 down a little bit of number 24 down and a little bit of our transitional color right in the middle and I'm gonna load my um, ombre brush with those three colors so just pull through and I'm gonna wiggle my bristles through those three colors that's gonna help load my brush so I'm pulling down this way to load the back end of my brush I want to load the top as well so I'm gonna flip my brush like this so the colors will always be on the same side. Number 25 is on the left, 24 is on the right, and the transition stays in the middle. Load it this way, just pull through that product. Now we've got a loaded brush. We're gonna come back to our nail, matching the colors with the sides. You don't wanna flip it because that'll create a little bit of a mess for you. And we're gonna start lightly pulling through, and I'm not dragging all the way at once. I'm kind of lightly feathering on top just to start that transition. Then what I'll do is I'll slightly go over to the left, pull down, then slightly over to the right and pull down. If you're getting too much product built up on your brush, just go ahead to your palette, wipe some off, and then you can come back. And here I'll use a little bit heavier of a hand and start pulling through. It's nice having the bristles of that ombre kind of spread in the end, so it yeah. really helps for that blending process. Yeah, this brush is great um, for ombre, hence why we named it the ombre brush, um, but the bristles are not uh, very dense at the very uh, end of the, the brush head. You can see there's kind of spaces, so having it not completely solid and completely dense will help kind of wispy, mm -hmm. um, the, the bristles are wispy, so it's not completely solid. It's not going to leave heavy, heavy lines. You can work backwards. Of course, if you're doing this on a client, when you get near the, the proximal fold, you're going to want to flip your brush and work the opposite way because we want to avoid touching their skin with the product. Okay, so this is for our first layer. Looks great. Probably going to do a second coat. So I'm going to pop this in the lamp for a cure. It's right behind you, Natasha. Oh, my apologies. No, that's okay. It just needs to be plugged in there. Thank you very much. And um, our color gel is a 60 second cure in our LED, LED lamp. Perfect. So, a 60 second cure for that guy. So. Like I mentioned, I'm going to, I'll place the color numbers that I've used for the other nails um, when I post this uh, live after we're done here. Um, but all of these ombres 
um, we're done with using our color gels. I can't say enough great things about them. Um, like Christina said, they're amazing for nail art. They're great for um, just full cover, co full color coverage over your enhancements. Um, or if you want to combine them with our builder base, that's a great option as well. And they can also be encapsulated in our in our sculpting gel. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I usually use. Do you need a lot to put on the nail? No, great question, actually. I should have mentioned that. So a little goes a long way. When you're doing an ombre, it's actually better to use very little product. Because um, I personally find if I put the product on too thick, A, we run the risk of um, the product being under cured, and we don't want that. And B, when there's too much product on the nail, it almost just slides around. It doesn't actually blend together. Exactly. When you are using this ombre brush in, compar in com combination with our color gel, our art gel, or our gel polish, you'll know that you have the right amount of product on there because you'll actually feel the resistance as you're pulling the brush through the product. When you're doing an ombre, personally, that's what I like to feel because then you're actually really working those products together and those colors together. Rather, if there's too much product on the nail, then it's kind of just floating through and you're not going to get as smooth of a transition. Okay. Stay on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm just going to clean my brush a little bit here because I've used it quite a bit and I can't really tell which side is which. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off the excess. We're going to go back with our painter brush. We're going to apply some of that lighter color again. We're going to repeat the same process. I mean, looking at this in person, I don't really even think it necessarily needs a second coat, but if you want to really get a really super nice smooth transition, then doing a second layer will help with that for sure. So again, using this product sparingly, I'm applying it with our painter brush here, but you can use our gel brush if you choose. Wiping off the excess of number 25, then I'm going to go in with number 24 that on the very outer side of the nail. Okay, pulling that over. Then we're going to go in with that transitional color right down the center and we're going to repeat the same steps that we just did. A little bit more. Okay, so just using my painter brush just one or two times just to kind of help Pull those colors together. I'm going to add a little bit of the darker shade on my brush here because the light is kind of creeping in a little bit too far, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm jumping back to my ombre brush. Let's load that up again. So that color, the center color, and the darker color. Coming in, we're going to load that brush, flip it over to the opposite side, and just really work that product in there. Now, quick question, Natasha. Yeah. Um, what do you prefer um, using as a product? Color gel or gel polish for doing ombres, or does it matter? Um, I, I honestly, both are wonderful. Um, I, oh, see, I flipped my brush, but that's okay. I distracted you. I'm nope, sorry. No, that's okay. Did I flip my brush? I'm confused now. Hold on. <laughs> I use both. Okay. Um, I think sometimes it just comes down to color preference, but I've really been enjoying creating ombre with our color gel. Mm -hmm. um, the consistency of them and the and the viscosity is so lovely, and um, the pigment, the color payoff is huge. I mean, it is with our, our gel polish as well, but I've been really finding I get a really nice um, transition with our color gels. And the same technique applies if you were to use gel polish? Yeah, Perfect. absolutely. Same thing. You just want to always um, remember, like Natasha mentioned in the comments there, she asked if we use it thinner. Thinner is best um, because then you'll be able to really pull through those colors and help create that transition. It's 
It's so satisfying to watch. It is. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So, um, let me just clean my brush a little bit more. I see right here, I just want to blend this side a tiny bit more. So, I'm just going to get as much of that excess product off of my brush as possible. Who else's palette looks like this when they're working? <laughs> Mine oh, always yeah. does. <laughs> I think you're not creating a masterpiece if it doesn't. It's so true. Mm -hmm. We're artists. We're messy. That's part of it. Okay, so I've got my lighter shade here. And I, I'm, you, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not putting tons of pressure um, at first. I'm just kind of lightly blending. I'm going over that middle section just a little bit. And then if you want to, at the end, you can kind of pull through a little bit heavier, and that'll help smooth any harsh That's lines. beautiful. So we've got the darker side over here, number 24, which I may need to just touch up a little bit. I think for me, it's like we get it to that point where, oh, it's like pretty much perfect. I know. And then you think, oh no, I can do a little bit more. Yeah. And then sometimes yeah. <laughs> it's a little too much. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that. So we've got the darker side on this side. And we fade over that center kind of transitional color to the very lightest on the left side. Gorgeous. So let's pop that in for one more cure. And I think today I am going to cure or seal this with our um, no white top coat because I just love the shine. Agreed. And I find, I mean, it looks great matte too, but I find mm -hmm. it really shows off the transition. Mm -hmm. So again today, you guys, what I've done is I've used our ombre brush here. We've got our lovely crystal palette with my artist mess. <laughs> We've got our crystal palette for mixing, our number 24 color gel, our number 25 color gel. I use my crystal tip display and then um, we're gonna seal with our no white top coat and I created this ombre over our tapered square tippies. Oh, and I use my painter brush too. We can't forget that. This is such a handy brush to have. It's very multiple, like you use it for it a is. lot of different... Yeah, I do actually. I reach for that one quite a bit. I'm just going to put the lids on my brushes so I don't cure them. We're going to move these out of the way. And I think our nail here is ready for cure or for sealing. We're using our no wipe top coat. Slopping everything around. <laughs> Let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so we're going to seal this with our no wipe. And again, our no wipe is a 60 second cure in our LED lamp. Just a nice, even coat of that from cuticle to free edge. There we go. So let's cure that and we'll show you guys quickly again. I guess do we have it? Do you need to put a oh no, I'm way behind. Okay. We're good? Any questions that I missed? I've just been answering some as you were talking Perfect. just do the comments there. That's great. I usually use clear oh, I keep losing that one. I usually use clear acrylic base and a layer and cure, then do the ombre on that. It feels like the colors grip better. That's, yeah, on a finished filed acrylic nail, absolutely. Crystal's just going to wipe my palette for me because we both are guilty of leaving it and then it cures and then we have to <laughs> <laughs> work extra off. hard to get it off. Yeah. So here we go. Here is our beautiful green color gel ombre nail all finished. Honestly, the color possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. We have such a wide um, range of colors available in our color gel, as well as our gel polishes and our art gels, and they all mix really beautifully together. Well, just even seeing the examples that you did there, mm -hmm. Natasha, to give an example of how you can color blend yeah. is really beautiful because some of these I would have never considered doing, especially the middle one. This one? Yeah, and yeah. they look so cool. This one is actually, um, so number this middle nail here, is number 25 and number 29 mixed together. And I wouldn't have thought that either, but yeah. then I was trying, I was at home, I was like, okay, I wanna start from this color, which I can't remember off the, oh, it's number 22, this kind of teal color on the mm -hmm. end. 
And I want to finish with number um, 34, which is this kind of rich, ready brown. Mm -hmm. So I needed that midway, and I was like, huh, let's give this a try. And actually, out of all the colors that I tried, these ones blended the easiest together. So sometimes it's worth just taking that... Um, taking that leap and going ahead and trying things that you wouldn't necessarily normally try because um, I think it turned out really pretty. It's very pretty. It looks amazing. Well, I don't know if there are any last minute questions there, but we just wanted to pop on quickly today and show you guys a quick little ombre demo with our color gels. It looks amazing. And I hope you guys give it a try because it is a super fun um, technique to do and um, I hope you guys enjoy our color gels as much as I do if you have had the chance to use them yet. If not, what are you waiting for? <laughs> and if you guys have any other further questions, feel free to reach out to us personally. Absolutely. At um, um, You can reach out to me on Instagram. Um, I'm at Natasha Harton. Um, and you can actually reach out to our contact email as well. Our contact email is contact at uglyducklingnails.com. And then you can reach out to Christical too. Christical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And just so you guys know, um, it is September 2nd already, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And we have an amazing deal going on right now. 20% off of our 15 mil gel pots um, <laughs> for our white, clear, and, and pink. pink. Yeah. So you guys can check that out on our website at uglyducklingnails.com. Yeah. And until next time, I guess we'll see you soon. Yeah. Have thanks. a oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, and have a great long weekend, you guys. It's yes. Labor Day weekend, yes. so have a fun and safe long weekend. Yes. Okay, okay. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.